Pisces. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 18th to the 24th of December 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. I have gone back to Moonology Oracles to start with, then the regular reading, and then finishing with Star Temple Oracle as well. So we will begin just like that, Pisces. That way. You get the full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Love that. Brilliant. Absolutely. Have that faith in yourself. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Wow. So maybe some sort of promotion happening here. There may be some sort of step up in um, a situation that's happening around you. It's that belief that you are good enough because that prosperity, it does lie ahead. That comes with it. Love that. Brilliant. Look at that <laughs> for balance. <laughs> Pisces. I am a Pisces too. Okay, so 18th to the 24th of December 2023, clear messages from Spirit, please, for Pisces. I want to see what it is now. <laughs> Ace of Cups. <laughs> overall, Five of Pentacles. What's happening with that overall for the week? And this may be some sort of self-doubt. Usually it's feeling like you're left out in the cold, ghosted, blocked, and about moving forward to something a lot more warmer, a lot more pleasant. This may be around something that you're having a bit of self-doubt with, that feel you feel like something is unobtainable or out of reach here, but it's coming back around to here. You are good enough, and that prosperity that lies ahead once you start moving forward to this energy of getting this happening and what is it shake rattle and roll getting it getting it going so ace of cups that balance perfectly in the shuffle there new chapter when it comes to love now it may be love love it may be a job you love maybe a home you love it's what's bringing in your prosperity this new beginning this new chapter you are ready to get underway and that belief that you are good enough. Number two, Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know where number two came in. Tuesday, King of Swords. Very level-headed, very logical. Using your head over your heart, you're taking action here. You're taking action to deal with this situation overall and to get your new chapter underway. And that action is ready to be paid off. Love that. Judgment Wednesday. Keep an open mind. I do say don't judge others. Don't let others judge you either. It does go those both ways. But keep an open mind towards this, where this new chapter is taking you. That prosperity is lying ahead and it may be on a direction that you hadn't originally thought of. The journey goes step by step. The Empress on Thursday. You, you are very intuitive, Pisces, and this is about following your heart, your gut instinct, what it's telling you. And it's, I'm going to say, it's telling you to get out of this situation of that cold energy and to get things moving towards what it is that you want, who it is that you want, or where it is that you want to be. And that gut instinct is telling you, you're good enough, go for it. Six of Cups on Friday, talking about the past. This may be fond memories of the past. This may be not so fond memories of the past. Reconciliations, no reconciliations. But it is about dealing with the past in order to get this next stage of the journey underway. Things are only going to progress forward. Some of you may not be such a tough, um, such a good past when you've got these tough situations that you have have overcome it's a frog on my throat <coughs> i said to someone it might be the candle that i'm breathing in that air there but you've overcome these obstacles okay you are on solid ground here now nothing is holding you back and it may be you're a bit battle scarred a bit battle weary you have had to jump through all these hoops and dodge a lot of bullets but you are on that solid ground and i feel like that past 
could well be these obstacles that are behind you here. Your own energy, Sunday, may have connection to another Pisces, the moon. It's giving you a lot more clarity when things are a bit darker and greyer, when you may be caught up in what's happened in the past, and this may be what it is that's holding you back um, here. But that moon is shining brightly for you and giving you all that clarity that you need to see that, yes, you are good enough and to see, yes, go for it because that prosperity lies ahead, Pisces. So let's clarify everything, starting with this Five of Pentacles overall. The Empress again, you've got that here. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Feel like there's somebody that has broken your heart here due to interference and meddling. It may be around love, it may be around work, it may be around home, but there's interference and meddling. Your, your gut instinct is very on point here when it comes to seeing um, some sort of outside energy coming in to try and upset everything, which is why this Five of Pentacles has come up overall for the week here. And it's just about the success that is at your fingertips and as well that instinct that intuition that that success is that close that you are able to grab it with both hands and run with it it's coming down to following that intuition what's it's possibly screaming at you monday ace of cups you get the knight of cups the emperor the fool well, there is somebody here significant. There is this offer of love. And this may be you offering love to someone. They may be coming in to offer love to you here. But confident the two of you do make a good team. Could have connection to an Aries here. Very brave, very confident. This may be somebody making the first initial move. Whether that's you, whether that's them. But ultimately, this love is about to get off the ground. And... Um, it's just a matter of taking that leap of faith, taking that first step. Easier said than done too, but ulti ultimately, new chapter when it comes to love, and it may be love, love. King of Swords, Tuesday. Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Moon again. May have connection to a Pisces. Um, you are coming out in this reading here, but ultimate victory for the hard work that you put in here. Using your head over your heart. Um, as I said, I'm a Pisces. Pisces are known to be dreamers, so this is quite difficult at times to be actually quite logical about where you're heading here. And I guess this is this Moon that's giving you that clarity to keep your feet on the ground. To keep your head out of the clouds is that the same as well and keep things real here um, because it's still belief you are good enough here and that victory and the hard work that comes with it that is your victory judgment wednesday the hierophant queen of cups four of cups some peer pressure being put on you here to do things in a certain way and it may not be what you're wanting to do. It's taking a lot of your time, a lot of your focus, almost it's a bit of a depressive energy like you're resigned to having to do something, what's coming in here, what this energy is, what they're trying to get you to do here. And this is where judgment is coming in. Keep an open mind. There are other ways and it may be what's coming in beside you, but you're needing to shift that focus around to see what, what is on offer. It doesn't mean that you have to take it, but it is worth some, something, worth something, something worth looking at. And um, being proud of how far you've come on some sort of emotional journey, especially with some peer pressure that's been put on you along the way. And then into the Empress though, that intuition is kicking in big time. Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Hanged Man. Where it feels like you are left sitting on the fence, possibly around this Four of Cups and this Hierophant as well. This is about balancing things out, making a decision yourself here to cut yourself free. And that may be what that intuition and that gut instinct is saying is like you are good enough you can you can cut yourself free from this kind of energy here and bring things more into balance and alignment i do say if you're doing all the giving and you are a very giving sign that someone else is doing all the taking so this is about still making sure that things are equal give and take especially 
with this partnership um, that's involved here, and it may be again around love, around work, around home. That that Knight of Cups is here, but um, making sure that it is balanced and having the confidence to go after your dreams because you are good enough, and that prosperity lies ahead. Six of Cups, Friday, Pisces. Ten of Wands, Princess of Wands, Judgment. Still coming back to keeping an open mind here, but also the judgmental energy. But I feel like there is a burden that's lifting, and it's the past. Whatever's held you back from the past, I feel like that is finally starting to lift as you do focus on what lies ahead, the steps that are needed to be taken to get this new chapter underway. Because again, you're good enough, that prosperity lies ahead, and you're wanting to be moving forward towards that. And uh, very compassionate, very giving, with your time, with your energy, but it is about not getting this past all tangled up with what is yet to come. Nine of Wands, Saturday. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, Temperance. Everybody does it. The first one that looks good, the repeat patterns, the options are there, and it's easy to take these ones. Familiar. But I feel like you're ready to take the blindfold off, take a step back, and look at a few other options that are around you here. Digging deep to see what some of those options are. Because you're not wanting to go back and having to go through all this, these obstacles again. This is about the journey forward now to that prosperity. Going with the flow, may have connection to a Sagittarius, not forcing the issue, taking the time to make a very clear decision that is working in your favour. And you finish Sunday with the moon, Princess of Swords, King of Swords, the High Priestess. May have connection to another Pisces, as I said, but using your head over your heart, very logical thinking things through. You're ready to take action, bring it on. You're ready for the prosperity, um, but it's, it's also that belief. You are good enough to be able to get this journey underway because this is about to take off. And I feel like you know, you know it with that Empress because that Empress also came out here. But let's, no, not that yet. Let's see what the universe says. Even I'm getting ahead of myself now. Boom. Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. Princess of Wands. Prosperity lies ahead. Good luck. Good fortune. Hopefully that is for every single one of you. Bigger and better things. Take time to step back. Do some soul searching. See that light at the end of the tunnel. See that you are good enough here. And those bigger and better things are yours to claim. Very compassionate, very giving, willing to share your ideas here. But I feel like you're focusing to make sure that you are ready for this journey. Because this is a journey to be on. Love that. Now we finish with Star Temple Oracle. You get number 27, the storyteller, intention. I am the narrator of my life. Absolutely. You are good enough and you are your own storyteller. Star words, plan, reframe, pursue. You create your own reality with your thoughts, feelings, words and actions. Take it, it reminds you to ensure yours are of a high vibe and intentional. Everything is interconnected, cooperative and purposeful. You have the free will to create with your mission in mind. Exemplify your higher calling and divine mission with determination. Do not hypnotize yourself to create from your unconscious limiting beliefs. Be empowered in the sacred now to reconsider your accepted reality. And what is your re accepted reality? Prosperity that lies ahead, Pisces. Focus. <laughs> so that's what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Many blessings to all of you. And I will see you all next time. See ya. Bye.